Hi, I'm Jess. Good morning, Gold Coast. Good morning, Gold Coast. It's Cam. Down to Surfers Paradise this morning because it's National Ride to Work Day. So throughout the show, you're gonna be seeing lots and lots of people with bicycle stuff behind me. Before we get into the headlines, some breaking news about an armed robbery that happened at Upper Coomera last night. Police are saying two guys broke into a bakery on Old Coach Road. They threatened the baker with a mallet and a hammer. Then they stole some cash and nicked off in an old red hatchback. More details about that at mygc.com.au. But let's take a look at today's news. And firstly, who's up for a trip to Hong Kong? Because Hong Kong Airlines is adding another two flights per week to Koolangatta Airport from December. Gold Coast Tourism's chief executive says it shows just how important we are to the Asian market and that air access from Hong Kong to here in the last 12 months has gone up by 66%. Woohoo! Also, the Commonwealth Games sport pictograms have now been officially unveiled to the world. Ladies and gentlemen, here they are. These graphics will be used to help everyone find their way around venues and the different sport precincts come games time. They'll also be used in publications, on the websites and on social media. And as you can see, this promo video involved locals and visitors at spots all around the city. So exciting! And as I said before, it's National Ride to Work Day, which is an annual event to get more of a cycling rather than being so lazy and driving everywhere. I'm guilty of it, you probably are too. So as you can see behind me, they've got free bike checkups, they've got free breakfast for the cyclists. And as we speak, there are two groups of riders cycling in from Runaway Bay and Talabudgera Creek. Let's talk to one of the cyclists. So what would you say to people who haven't ridden in today, like myself? <laughs> you gotta make the effort. Come on, we're all fighting the bulge. Oh, we are. <laughs> and tell us a bit about the cycle. I really enjoyed it myself because I've just recently moved up from Sydney. I gained a lot of um, experience from the guys. Um, the back streets, the safer option. Rather than riding on the Gold Coast Ex Highway. Exactly. <laughs> so if you haven't gone to work yet, jump on your bike and do it that way. Or if you've missed that, then sign up to the council's Love to Ride event, which starts at the beginning of November. All the details in the link in this post. Now let's see what's happening around the place. There's a heap of lectures, seminars and debates happening at Bond University right now as part of Research Week. And tonight there'll be a discussion about whether or not the world's going to run out of antibiotics. You know the stuff we chug down when most of us get an illness or injury? Yeah, most of us are using it wrong and it's having some big consequences. So some very smart scientists will tell us if there is a solution. So for more information on that and all of Bond University's Research Week events, click on the link in this post. And the other week I told you about a tiny house project that some of the students at Helensvale are working on. It's basically a new business idea to offer affordable and flexible housing. So tonight from 6.30pm the kids are holding a trivia night at the school to raise a bit of money for the project and also have a bit of fun. Again, more information in this post. Time for a look at the weather. A cloudy day expected on the Gold Coast with a 40% chance of showers. 23 at the top, getting down to 14. Then on both Thursday and Friday, we can expect a partly cloudy day with a slight chance of showers as well. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. That's the show. Remember to like and share because everyone who has, you're coming up there. Coming up roses. Coming up beautiful. Look at you guys. I'm going to head off, but I'll leave you with some pictures of the biking things that are happening here on National Ride to Work Day. Have a wonderful Wednesday.